This is another patient, age 20 years, married. Can you tell me better? Huh? Married two years and uh, and she does not have any issue so far. And in this view, we can see that uh, I can show you the ovary. Intentionally, I am going to I have reduced again. to show you the right, uh, the left ovary rather. So this is the left ovary with developing follicles seen in it. This is the ovary and these are these, these areas are the follicle ground cystic areas are the follicles. This is the urinary bladder. This is the uterus in transfer section and this is the uh, cystic area posterior, see, presently seen posterior to the uh, uterus and then extending into the uh, right adenexa. The uterus is in transfer section. This is the transfer section of the uterus and uh, this is the cyst which in this view is appearing to you as being absolutely clear of internal echoes or uh, any septas, no calcification and uh, no solid element is seen in this uh, particular view uh, with disturbed uh, gain settings just to realize the ovary, that's the ovary properly because you continuously uh, play with the gains to get a proper view a beautiful view of the image. So anyways, now this is the longitudinal section. The uterus. Oh yes. Eight point seven centimeters in length and uh, two point five centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. Now why is the uh, the length of the uterus uh, seen as the being not of familiar parous uterus as it measures, this length is measuring 8.7. It is because of uh, two reasons. One, the urinary bladder is overfilled. It crosses the, uh, it's crossing the fundal region. Ideal uh, ideally, it should not cross. Adequate fill urinary bladder is defined that does not exceed the fundus of the uterus. Now, this is exceeding much uh, away from the fundus of the uterus. And second is the cystic area posterior to the uterus. So, this is the reason of this uterus being seen uh, as, as more in length compared to the nerviferous uterus size. It measures something around 8.5, and this because of the stretch. It is because of that, that it, is, it is being straight. So otherwise, this is the anterior myometrium, posterior myometrium, endometrial canal. This is the cervix. This is the cervical canal, and uh, this is the posterior lip of the cervix. So no pathology relating related to the uterus. Uh, you will see here. So once again, this is the urinary bladder. This is the uterus, and this is the cystic area seen presently in this view, seen in posterior uh, to the uterus only. And there are a few echoes seen with it. Now let's study the, uh, we have seen that both right ovary is not visualized. So this is in fact an ovarian cyst uh, that is being pushed, that has been pushed posterior to the uterus. And uh, now if you see, just concentrate on the cystic area, I'm going to magnify the view so that we can see clearly that this, this uh, cystic area 
is not free of internal echoes, rather it is full of internal echoes. You can see here uh, in this view, it's very much clear and floating echoes are seen in it. And this is, these are all echoes and these are floating within this uh, cystic area, which is the ovarian cyst. This is the longitudinal section of the cyst and uh, this is the transfer section of the same cyst with internal echoes. Here we are. You can see the echoes. And why this is cystic? Because you can see the strong type wall on both sides. Now, Let's see the, what is the approximate calculated volume of this ovarian cyst, eco-filled ovarian cyst, and it is one thirty-five ml is the calculated uh, approximate volume of this. So this is the longitudinal, this is the longitudinal section, this is the transport section and uh, it's, this is the cyst and this is the cyst, cystic area, okay, and it has echoes within it that float and there is posterior or acoustic enhancement, no calcification or solid solid element is seen. And this area is the uterus. This is the uterus. This area is the uterus. Let's study the, for a moment, both the ovary and the cystic area with uh, normal gain settings. Yusuf, I don't know what I'm doing. Here we are. So this is our case of the day, an eco-filled cystic area that is ovarian in nature and the ovary is uh, seen pushed towards the posterior to the uterus and uh, I can see this broadly on my as well. Let's magnify the pie a bit and then view it. Now here we are. This is the fist. Here you will get now this is the normal. Thank you very much.